Hi and welcome to Dan's Diagnostics. Today we've got a 2008 Ford Cougar. Customer says that when they were coming off the motorway, all the lights lit up on the cluster and the engine cut out. Now the car doesn't start and if we operate the key fob, you can see nothing happens. Let's dig deeper. So we are now inside the car. You can see I sit the key just in front of the cluster. Keep pressing to turn the ignition on. We get a message saying key not detected. So if I just remove the blade from the key, pop the fob there, put the blade down in the ignition. Again, press the ignition switch, and you can see now we have ignition. Pat's light is flashing like crazy. Let's see what we can find. Let's load four scan. Okay, that. Come now, click connect vehicle. Okay, that. See, we have a lot of fault cords present. Bunch in the PCM, turbocharger, and we get a lot of lost communication with the body control module, with the instrument cluster, with the brake switch sensor signal, clutch switch sensor signal, the mobilizer ID does not match, OBD turbo, lost communication with the VCM and the ABS, battery level low, lost communication with gateway A, invalid and missing cam between the PCM and the ABS. It's an engine speed. Instrument cluster has a CAN plus communication fault. Come down. Strange control modules lost communication with the instrument cluster and the remote key will send you. It's a remote key communication failure. Electronic steering column. Block ground supply short to battery. And an invalid or missing data for vehicle security. And then in the gem module we've just got a U code for rain sensor communication fault. Let's dig a little deeper. Right, so because of all of the fault codes stored in all the different modules, key not detected message coming up, key fob not working, and the parts light flashing, I decided to come to the wiring diagrams, which I cannot show you due to copyright reasons. So I've hand drawn my own. Had a look at the uh, module communication wiring diagram. You see over here we've got the PCM, we've got the KVM, all-wheel drive module. We did have a key not detected message. We had an all-wheel drive malfunction message. We also had an uh, engine malfunction message. And you can see they're all on the same network. So what I thought with the parts light flashing, multiple codes, we'll have a look at the KVM wiring diagram, the keyless vehicle module. So again, I've hand drawn this module, uh, this wiring diagram, sorry. And you can see over here, we've got an always hot fuse 3, 60 amp in the junction box. This comes through to another junction box. It's fused again, coming off, giving a 12 volt feed up here to the keyless vehicle module. And 12 volts coming over to the radio frequency receiver. Right here, this is in the roof. It's grounded with the ground connection up in the roof again. Keyless vehicle module is in the near side rear wheel arch. So like I said, we've got the 12 volt feed got the ground in the near side rear wheel arch and we've also got the K line this comes down from the radio frequency receiver so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into the boot I'm gonna remove the trim in the near side rear wheel arch and then we can test this orange and white wire for 12 volt feed and then we've also got a white and green wire for the K line so if I pin into this with a scope, operate the key, see if we actually get a signal on this wire. We can load test this with a test light, make sure we get 12 volt feed here. If all this checks out good, then we can move over into the roof. We'll have to drop the overhead console as the radio frequency receiver is behind the overhead console. So we'll go up into the roof and we can test 12 volt feed here. Could also see if it's picking up the key signal when I press the key fob. Check the ground. That's where we could go to. But first of all, we'll go and check out this keyless vehicle module. And we'll go from there. So I'll go and get this removed. I'll turn the camera off. I'll get this uh, arch liner removed. 
and then I'll turn the camera back on and we'll do some more testing. I just thought to mention going back to my wiring diagrams. If you see a symbol like this, inside two wires, it just means that the wires are twisted together. So you do find that on CAN communication wiring diagrams. And then if we look at my other wiring diagram, when it's showing modules with a dotted line around the outside, it just means that it's just a partial wiring diagram. So obviously the keyless vehicle module will have a lot of wires coming out, but for the sake of this wiring diagram, it's only showing the ones relevant to testing with the radio frequency receiver. So that's just a partial wiring diagram. So instead of showing hundreds of wires and you're trying to find it, we're just getting the three that are, re that are required, that are needed. And then this just means that wires are twisted together. So as the wire gram just showed before, we've now come to the keyless vehicle module, living in the near side rear quarter panel. Got a test light connected to ground. And then you can see we've got a 12 volts to the module on the wire that it states. We just move over, green and white wire. It's a little hard to show to get properly on video. If we just go in, not quite right. I'm now in connector C219, green and white wire, connected up with a scope, scope connected to ground. This is the K-line wire and you can see that we do have voltage, the battery voltage is flickering as it's up and down. We get the key, clicking the buttons, we've got no signal whatsoever on this K-line. So let's move to the front of the vehicle to the radio receiver and we'll test it there. So we are now back in the front of the car, the radio receiver is just up behind this light, so if we remove this, pull this down, just inside here is the receiver, here we go, let's get my lights, so, oh look at that. Full of blue crusties. Just try and get focused. this beautiful and I've just disconnected the radio receiver look at the state of that I think we've found a problem however if we come up and look at the actual connector itself it's also really bad I think we might need to get a new connector, at least some new wiring. Sold it in. Let's go and see what the customer would like to do. So what I did is I cut the loom, further up the loom, and follow it back. Some of the wiring, you can see water ingress trips up through the loom. So what I've done, so I found connectors that fit into the plug, clean the plug the best I could, put new connectors inside, new wiring, soldered in, taped, I've just got to loom tape it up. Now we'll get the frequency, radio frequency receiver plugged in. And I've just sat two screws in there, because when I pulled the overhead console down before, there was screws missing, so I can just pop in two new screws and secure this properly. I know about the wiring loom taped up, the radio frequency receiver is in. No blade in the ignition, and if I just hit the ignition button, you can now see the ignition comes on. Pat's light still flashes, just need to initialise the module, put in the as built data, which I won't be able to show due to copyright reasons, and then I'll show you the next steps. 
So got the radio frequency receiver tucked away nice and neatly. Overhead console is now in position. Just get it screwed up and secured nice and neatly. Right, pa. Have you got a soldering iron by any chance? I do, mate, yeah. Say, can I borrow it, please? Now back at the vehicle, connected back up into the keyless vehicle module. Key fob in my hand, connected into the K line wire. Now, when I press unlock, you can see we now get a signal from the key. Happy days. So the overhead console is now nice and secure, fully fastened back. Got both keys here in my hand. Remember before, you just have to put the blade in the ignition slot. Now, we just press the switch, the ignition comes on. Just press the clutch, press and hold. The van now works. Awesome, that's a fix. If you've liked anything you've seen in today's video, then please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.